Three people collapsed after being surprised by the light. 24 others reported feeling ill. After a detailed examination, no major problems were discovered, and all patients were returned home after basic treatment. Thanks for the report. Go rest for a while. You were up all night. Yes, sir. <sighs> no problems. At least so far. That's even stranger. We're still investigating, but... It seems that all living beings in the Hidden Leaf were exposed to the light regardless of being indoors or even if they were sleeping. Also, all those exposed to it had a mark-like blemish appear somewhere on their bodies. But these marks disappeared within an hour. It felt more like it was absorbed into my body rather than disappeared. Regardless, it seems imprudent to write off such a commotion so easily. Until we know what it is and what's happening, we should proceed carefully. Yeah. I'll have the inexperienced Genning stay in the village on standby, in case anything else strange happens. Give all missions to Chunin and above for now. I'll tell Sasuke, too. He might have figured something out. Okay, handle it. That was the information we got from the Lord Seventh Hokage. There will be a limit placed on missions. So, no more missions for a while? Looks like it. So, will you play with me? Sorry, Himawari. I know I finally have time off, but there's something I want to look into. Something you want to look into? I want to know what happened yesterday, but there's not enough information right now. I should probably look further into Ninja Heroes. Okay, then. Where were you when that stuff happened with the moon? Oh, man, I was outside then, so I looked right at it. And I got this weird blemish, which freaked me out, but it went away on its own. I was so relieved. Hey, did you do the new event? You mean Kaseki Gathering? Of course I did. You can get a pretty rare reward. Really? Oh, man, don't do the events without me. Hmm, a new event, huh? Maybe I should see what it's all about. This is the Kiseki Reward Exchange. Ha ha ha! That was worth the hard work. Hey, looks like Kiseki Gathering started. It has... Although... You probably don't need to do it. It's not any fun, I bet. Hey, come on! You're supposed to be the guide for the game, aren't you? I mean, you can't just go around saying stuff like that, you know? Well, I guess so. I guess I'll try it out, and I'll see what it's like. All right, come on, give me the event details. <sighs> Fine. You might be able to get something you want. What's that mean? The event-specific character will explain all that at the mission information desk. Mission information desk, right. Okay. I'll check it out. This mission reception counter is only for the new event, Kiseki Gathering. Tell me what the Kiseki Gathering event's all about. You got it. Here are the details. Kiseki Gathering is a battle event. It's really hot right now. You fight mysterious enemies and the limited time battles we've prepared. The mysterious enemies are very strong, but if you can beat them, you'll get stones called Kiseki. 
If you collect Kiseki and give them to Nanashi, the event guide, you can exchange them for rare items in the game. Also, if you have a winner Kiseki, you can get a replica of the Lord Seventh Hokage's necklace currently seen in commercials. However, it's completely up to luck whether or not you get a winner Kiseki, meaning you'll be really lucky if you get one. Okay, make sure to gather Kiseki and get your own necklace. Oh, so that's what Nanashi meant about something I might want. Ah, uh, I am afraid you can't participate in all the battles right now. The remaining battles are still being prepared. Sorry. That should sum things up.
Unfortunately, it looks like there were no winners in the kiseki you collected. But if you give the kiseki you collected to the guide, Nanashi, you can exchange them for great items. I gathered some kiseki. Can you exchange them? All right, you can't exchange unless you have several. Yep, got them all here. I see. What's up with you? You're acting a little weird today. You... Me? It's nothing. Okay, I'll take the kiseki. No winners. I hate to give up, but that's all for today. I can still play the game tomorrow. Okay, then. Oh, I was caught up in the event and almost forgot there's something I wanted to ask you. So, there's a lot of people who get sick in the real world after playing this game. Do you know why that is? I don't. Oh, so you don't know either. Maybe their eyes are tired? That's what I thought too, but I guess that's not it. Hmm. Oh well, I'll figure it out if I keep checking. You shouldn't stick your nose into it too much. It could be dangerous. How is that dangerous? I'm just investigating why people get tired. Thanks for worrying about me though. <sighs> it's already nighttime. I'm kind of tired. What could it be? So this is where it was released. If so, then that infinite Tsukiyomi makes sense. That means that now, in this world, a mysterious Uchiha exists. Dad. Hey. I didn't think you'd come home for a while. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to, but I forgot to bring a change of clothes. You're kidding, right? <laughs> Boruto. Hmm? This thing might be trickier than I thought. If something happens, take care of your mom and Himawari. You can count on me. But it's not just Mom and Himawari I'll protect. I'll take care of you too, Dad. Big words for such a little man. But I'm glad. Okay, I'm heading out now. Let's see, now dad left, so what to do? Days off can be so boring. Hmm, I have time, so I guess it's Ninja Heroes. Maybe part two of Kiseki Gathering started. This mission reception counter is only for the new event, Kiseki Gathering. The battles you couldn't try last time have been unlocked. Make sure to give them a shot. Let's <laughs> go! <laughs> 
Oh, that Kiseki! Congratulations! The Kiseki you just got is a winner Kiseki! Huh? Oh! If you give it to the event guide Nanashi, you'll get a replica of the Lord Seventh Hokage's necklace as a present. Yeah! Himawari will be so happy! I gathered some kiseki, and one of them is a winner! Uh... I didn't think you'd get a winner, Boruto. Okay, so I gave you the kiseki. What do I do now? If you write the reward code, 807-05102, on the postcard included in the game box, you'll be sent the necklace. I see. Are you sure? About what? <laughs> Nothing. Hey, you're definitely acting strange. Did something happen? I'm here to talk. We're friends. Friends. Yeah. <laughs> you call me the guide. Your friend. Boruto, you are so... So... so weird. <laughs> Come on, I'm trying to cheer you up. It's okay, I don't need cheering up. I may not look like it, but I'm actually excited. About what? Don't tell anyone else, but something really great is going to happen. I have no idea what you're talking about. Is there another event starting or something? Yeah, there is. A big one. So that's the reason. I'm acting different because I've been keeping it secret. So that's what it is. Good to know. It sounds like you have another fun event, though. I'll check it out next time I'm investigating. Okay, I'm gonna head back. I have to fill out that postcard. Boruto. Hmm? You're really not all that bad. Hmm? Huh? So... So... If anything you don't like happens, or if you want to get away... You can come here. Huh? That's all. See ya. A weapon does not need a kind name. Not as she will be perfect for you. <laughs> With this, the tracking effectiveness should dramatically improve. It's still experimental, but I really hope the Seventh allows it. Excuse me, Seventh? Uh, seventh? And Shikamaru, too! <coughs> Who are you? No. Katasuke. It's you. You're Katasuke. 
What happened? I don't know. My head. So many things are disappearing. Disappearing? What do you mean? What's this? Call the medical corps right away. It's an emergency. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> the seventh is down. It's funny to see Katoske sensei so flustered. Our plans will now begin to bring pain to the whole world. Worship me. You belong to Mertz now. Seventh. Seventh! Oh, good. You're both awake. How do you... Seventh, prepare for war. Definitely. W war? What's going on? Good. You're okay, Boruto. What do you mean? Something's wrong with the village! Everyone started preparing for war all of a sudden. What? I don't have any idea what's happening. I was worried something might be wrong with you, too. Thank goodness. <laughs> Where are you going? I'll go ask Dad. Boruto. You guys! Hey, hey, what's going on? My mom's acting strange, and I... I'm gonna go talk to my dad. The Seventh isn't home? He's at the Hokage's chamber. Dad, are you seriously going to war? Dad! Seventh! Boru 
Yuto. What's wrong? You okay? S some... Some kind of crazy power. It... It erased my memory. The... Memories of this... Merit's guy came in and... Took me over. Th thanks to Kurama protecting me... I... I had a little memory left. That let me come back to myself. But only for an instant. Listen... The mastermind is zero. Merit's... Tell, tell Sasuke... Dad! Boruto... You take it from here. Dad? Huh. Get to the battlefield once you're prepared. Dad... The Seventh and my mom are acting the same. He said something about Azero and Mers. Yeah. How do you know that name? Sasuke! Naruto? I see. I'm glad you're all right, Dad. Sasuke, who is Merit's R0? Zero? Zero is the name of an organization. Merit's is the one who founded it. I still don't know any other details. Only that they're a criminal organization. It's obvious that they're behind what's happening in the ninja world. Are you talking about all this war commotion? Doing something so extravagant so suddenly. Is that possible? No. There were signs a few days ago. If you think of the scope and the timing of the incident, it has to have something to do with that infinite Tsukuyomi. There's something else. When that light shined, this sort of mark appeared on everyone, like a blemish. Mom and Himawari had it too. But why don't we have it? Yeah. Naruto wrote that the mark appeared on all living things, even if they didn't look directly at the moon. I used Susanoo to block the light, so I didn't get a mark. How did you block it? I don't know. We were playing the game when it happened and didn't see it. In there? Y young Lord! You're okay! <gasps> Wait, are you acting strange too, Young Lord? I I'm fine. I'm normal. R really Thank goodness! But... With the Seventh in that condition, I don't know what to say. Did you see the Seventh too, Katasuke-sensei? Yes, late last night. I went to the Hokage's chamber to show him a new scientific ninja tool I developed. Scientific ninja tool? You mean that bag? Oh no. The new scientific ninja tool is in the lab. In here? <laughs> It's embarrassing, but it's the Ninja Heroes game. Huh? You keep that on you all the time? Yes. It's a popular game, so I carry it around with me, so I can play anytime. <laughs> Ninja Heroes? That's the game I was talking about. Ninja Heroes is a virtual online game that got popular really quickly recently. If you put on this special equipment, you enter the virtual space, and you can do all sorts of things there. Oh, the virtual space. Right. It's like another world that's different than the real world. 
Maybe it would be easier for you to understand if I said it was a genjutsu world used for recreation. A genjutsu world? People get weirdly tired after playing this game. We were collecting information about it. Uh, Sasuke? Where did you get this? I just bought it. Oh, didn't you say you didn't know who made this game? <gasps> That's right! I was wondering about it too, so I looked into the developer, but I didn't find anything out. What's wrong, Dad? Hey, Boruto. Got a minute? Hmm? What's wrong? It's just so much information. I'm starting to get confused. So how about we get organized here a little? We might be able to figure something out. Yeah, me too. Actually, I gotta admit, my head is all messed up as well. Okay, so let's review what's been going on. Right now, it's not only the Hidden Leaf Village, but the whole ninja world is acting strange. Everyone's personality has changed, and they're all trying to start a war. If we follow this back, do you remember what the cause was? Uh, let me see. I'm pretty sure that it's because of the moon. I mean, from a couple days ago, isn't it? Yes. Blemishes appeared on everyone because of that. It's somehow connected to all the current commotion. But we didn't get the marks on us. No. People say the light was strong enough to affect people even if they didn't see it directly. So, what's the difference between us and the people with marks? So, if we look at the specifics, your mother and sister got the mark, but you didn't, even though you were in the same house. What was the difference in what you did versus what they did? Differences? I mean, Ninja Heroes is about all there is. Yes. You, me, and Sarada, too. We were all playing Ninja Heroes. I think you were getting information about fatigue from the game. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that's about the only difference. I think this is a big point. You make it sound like it is. Then I guess either the game console or the virtual space has a trick to it. If there is, we don't know if it has any connection with this case. However, I think it's worth investigating. Yeah. Sasuke, we thought about it, and we think the game is suspicious. Don't ask me what, but I feel like we'll find some sort of clue there. I was thinking the same thing. Um, what is it exactly? I first grew suspicious when you didn't receive the effects of the moonlight. You were only playing the game. It's not like you took any protective measures. However, that light couldn't be blocked by any ordinary means. You would need a special jutsu like mine to interrupt it, or not be there to begin with. Be there? And if you weren't there, then it wouldn't be a stretch to think there was something to the game itself. Dad, do you mean... Hm, I see it. A hidden jutsu inscription. It looks like a special one similar to a summoning. A summoning? That's been set to the game console? Yes. I don't know what jutsu it's based on, but I think we can assume that it has the power to transport something. Considering that this was set to this console, there's a possibility that identical inscriptions could be set in other items. This is unbelievable. So this is the reason why the mark didn't appear when we were hit by the moonlight. Yes. In other words, you weren't really on this side. You were actually in a different space sent there by the transportation jutsu inscription set to that console. But, but doesn't transportation usually mean moving the entire body? Not knowing the details of the jutsu, this is merely a conjecture, but... 
Is it possible that this jutsu is only transporting the mind? If not, this case would have been discovered sooner. It would have been the game that makes people disappear. That's true. In other words, the mark from the moonlight is introduced by the mind, and not the body. That's why we didn't get the mark, since we were over there. Hmm? Wait a second. If our minds were being transported, that means that space was... Huh? I mean, what is Ninja Heroes, then? Right. Up until now, we thought that we were playing in the game's virtual space, controlling the game characters. It turns out that our minds were transported to some other space, not in the game, and playing there. Seriously? However, that can only be possible if there is a space to bring in the minds. It would take a powerful ninja to be able to do something like that. An Uchiha could do it. An Uchiha? Of course, not every Uchiha clan member could do something like that. But it's obvious there is someone here who can. What do you mean? I've been traversing the ninja world these last few days on a mission for Naruto. He wanted me to look into a scroll stolen by someone named Teguse, who left the village several months ago. Teguse? Could it be that the scroll he stole was the history of Warring State Seals? Yes. The scroll had details about dangerous genin sealed during the Warring States period, and included their abilities and locations where they were sealed. I received a copy and went around investigating the seal locations. The other day, I discovered that the seal for one of the locations had been broken. The person sealed there was... an Uchiha clan member. I don't know their name. It wasn't listed anywhere. However, according to the scroll, this person possessed an ability called Yachihoko, and was instrumental in the war as an Uchiha clan weapon. There's something else. The records said that aside from Yachihoko, this person had jutsu such as Tsukuyomi and Amaterasu implanted. I know Amaterasu is the black flame you use, but what is Tsukuyomi? The user creates a space in full control of its shape, time, and rules, and then brings in a third party. The jutsu is primarily used to inflict psychological damage on your opponent. If that were used for another purpose, such as ninja heroes, for example. Exactly. Everything would make sense. The key is the existence of this mystery Uchiha. It would be safe to assume that only someone with Uchiha abilities could control a jutsu on the scale of that infinite Tsukuyomi. And the ninja hero space we played in was created by that Tsukuyomi, a Uchiha clan jutsu. I wasn't able to track down Teguse, who stole the scroll. But based on the information, it seems that he assisted Zero. That was the final piece of the puzzle. Ninja Heroes was created from his skills and the power of the Uchiha clan. If it's something they created, it makes sense that we don't know who the developer is. It's rather clear now that Zero and the game are connected. We also know this chaos won't end unless we stop Zero. With how little information we have on their organization, this game is the breakthrough we need. You will go into the game and see if there's anyone inside connected to Zero. If we do find someone connected to Zero, we'll be able to find out what they're after and where they're headquartered. Okay, let's roll. Right, Boruto? Right, Mitsuki? Uh, yeah. Oh, he's here. Let's get started then. Sure. What's wrong? We have to do our best if we're going to resolve this situation. Uh, I know. Boruto, 
Hmm? You already have an idea who's connected to Zero, don't you? <coughs> Someone who's always in Ninja Heroes and can control this space. I mean, there's really only one person who it could be. Oh, you're here. Yeah. What's wrong? You sound so gloomy. That's not the Boruto I know. Um... Oh, I know. You were about to say something selfish again, right? You want more missions? Hmm. <sighs> Fine. I'm really not supposed to give in to such demands. But for you, I can bend the rules. No, that's not why I'm here today. Hmm? The ninja world is in chaos right now. Did you know that? I didn't. I'm the guide for this game. I don't know anything going on outside. My dad and a lot of other people have gone crazy. War is about to break out in the ninja world. Hmm? So? How is telling me going to help when I don't know anything about it? Well... Of course you know. You guys! What do you mean? There's a lot of evidence pointing in your direction. Boruto, if this is too hard for you, I can do it. This place isn't a virtual game space. It's a genjutsu world created by someone. They're using an Uchiha ability called Tsukuyomi to make it possible. We also know someone capable of doing that is with this criminal organization called Zero. <sighs> we already know this game is connected to Zero. In other words, it wouldn't be strange if there was a Zero supporter here. They'd also have the ability to take part in the game at will. I remember what you said. I know you're the game's guide character, but can you really set up a battle at your own convenience? I'm like a wizard in this space. That's nothing. And you actually did it. So, what are you trying to say? That I'm this Zero supporter because I can control this space at will? Yes. Although we don't know if there's some third party controlling the character named Nanashi. Or if it's through some other means. Is this what you think too, Boruto? I don't want to think that. But... But there's so many things pointing at you, Nanashi. <laughs> oh, so you noticed. So it is you. I guess it's all right. I couldn't keep up the ruse much longer anyway. You guys were right about this space. My role is to manage it while disguised as a guide character. To be honest, it was hard playing the guide. I had to do my best using systematic words and being polite. Doing my boring job as a guide and having everyone enjoy the game without drawing attention to myself until I was ready to execute the plan. <sighs> Why did I get stuck having to do that for such low-life ninjas? That Tegusei guy really gave me such stupid orders. I just followed them because Zero is going to grant me my wish. Why would you do that? I needed a means to recover. Engraved Tsukuyomi requires a lot of chakra, and I was just revived. That's why this space was set with a chakra draining device to use for the recovery. That's the truth behind the fatigue you guys were sniffing around about. I see. And you recovered enough chakra to use the engraved Tsukuyomi, that unnatural moon phenomenon. Yes. Thanks to it, I was able to mark everyone in the ninja world. So I am actually grateful to you. You and all the game players who helped me recover. Oh, and I'm also grateful for all the Kiseki gathering. Especially you, Boruto. That Kiseki you brought was the Hokages, after all. What? 
What do you mean? There's this ability called Yachi Hoko. It allows you to control the minds and chakra of any person linked with the mark. Being able to control their minds means they can be summoned to wherever you want. Are you saying... Have you figured it out? The opponents you fought in the Kiseki Gathering were the minds brought here from the real world with Yachi Hoko. The Kiseki that you got from defeating them? It actually belonged to that person. In short, their memories. Putting out the light inside the Kiseki, that removes the memory. And if instead, another memory were put inside... They can be brainwashed. Exactly. Then I got my dad's... That's why I told you it wouldn't be any fun. You... you do you really think doing this will get your wish granted? You've just created chaos! That was precisely what my wish was. Ninja turning on and hurting each other, the ninja world collapsing on itself, and erasing all of the ninja everywhere. Zero will make that come true. I mean, the ninja world is on the brink of war as we speak. No one can stop it now. You... Screw you! No way you're getting away with this! You can protest all you want, but how exactly are you going to stop me? It's easy. We'll get you to tell us everything. Stuff like how to get the memories back, or where the enemy hideout is. I see. However, you worthless ninja are weak, foolish, and small. The only thing big about you are your mouths. You really think? You think you can beat me? I'm Nanashi Uchiha! What? <coughs> Space! <gasps> Your body! You too! I am freely in control of your temporary forms and this space. Nanashi? Those eyes and hair color are the same as mine and my dad's. So the Uchiha who was revived was... That's you! In any case, being able to change the space all at once. What do you think? This is all just trivial for me to do. You are no match for me. Or do you still think you can defeat me? <laughs> the look on your face. Stop helping Zero! There's still time to make this right! Stop? Who do you think you are? You've lived all your life in comfort. You're all soft! There's no reason to destroy the ninja world. Everyone we love will be... I know you're a really nice person. You wouldn't really do something bad! What? What do you know about me? You don't know what I feel? Or what I've been through? You don't know anything! Sharingan! There are so many things in this world that I absolutely despise. That includes ninja. And also, the ninja world. Just thinking about it consumes me with rage. It pains me. I can't stop the anger from pouring out of me. That's the reason I supported Zero. And why I sent the whole ninja world into chaos. I hate ninja, all of them. I wish that they'd all die! This is... Nanashi! Hold on! Nanashi, stop! Boruto, <laughs> she's not going to listen. Something must have happened to her in the past. That's the reason for her anger. You're probably right, but we have no way of finding that out now. Call me! Here goes! Fire step! 
Seems she has the advantage in this space. Nanashi! If only I had you back then. Hey! <laughs> We're back. Seems that way. <clears throat> Oh, you're awake. The plan is already going smoothly. I think I've done enough. There's no need to monitor that side anymore. Hmm, but... It's fine. The plan is going smoothly, as Nanashi said. Leaf, sand, cloud, stone, mist... All of the five great villages have started preparing for war. It's only a matter of time now before the fifth great ninja war begins. The world needs pain. By inflicting pain, this unrefined world will be able to grow. Merit, you are something akin to me. Your family and friends were taken from you by the warring nations. You learned of pain just like me, and realized how wrong the world is. Therefore, we have a similar intention. Changing the world is quite simple, if you have the unbreakable will of the gods. Dedicate your efforts and your will to realize Akatsuki's mission. The whole world, the people. War will ruin the villages and at that point, they'll collapse. And Zero shall provide the reign of power that Lord Payne strived for. 